Oh, hello. Looks like you found me. Thank you so much for finding your way over to hear me out. Enjoy the episode. Smooches. Salam, everyone. It's me, Wally. Um, welcome to another episode of Hear Me Out. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll just start off by saying that this week has been difficult, um, to say the least. I just found everything to be really difficult and annoying. Um, I guess I kind of had like a depressive episode um, where I didn't really want to do anything. Like eating was hard and uh, I don't really usually have that problem. Um, So yeah, so if I'm a little down more than normal, um, that's why. Anyway, um, I want to get into talking about the blog post and then potentially talk a little bit more about my mood. Um, We'll see how this goes. (laughs) All right, so let's start off with um, CAP, poem number six. Um, This poem was obviously dedicated to Courtney, um, who uh, was a guest blogger last month um, or whatever. I guess yes it was last month um everything's a little bit of a blur uh, especially during covid times anyway um so yeah, this was de- dedicated towards her um basically like even though we've only known each other for a short amount of time in terms of like my other really close friends um the bond we've built and the love and support we have for each other um is amazing and it's uh it means a lot to me so I wanted to make sure that I wrote a poem that uh, um, you know was showing that to the utmost or to the highest level and showing her the utmost respect because I do love and respect her so much as a human Um, she has been such a wonderful support system and the way she just exists is amazing to me um so being around her just makes me feel so much better and makes me feel validated because i feel like she truly sees me for who i am um and isn't like just gonna be friends with me or gonna you know around me for just for the sake of it or whatever the case is i like I, it feels real and everything is um just I don't know like I think I said in, in, or I know I said in the poem like the connection is amazing and like our soul I feel like it's a soul connection like it's not just surface level we're not just being friends for the sake of being friends like we don't have anyone to we need to pretend to be you know we don't need to pretend for anyone um and like the couple you know <laughs> the few things that we've both in different ways been through this past year um or whatever has brought us closer and also taught us a lot about or I'm not I can't speak for her obviously but taught me um about the world (laughs) more so and um certain people that we were both uh you know around um and uh and how it can really affect you being around someone who is kind of doing it for show or um for me specifically like basically trying to make themselves feel better I guess I don't know how to explain this right now but uh basically what I'm trying to get at is that Courtney and I have gotten really close um because I guess of trauma um because trauma brings people closer um and because of just the connection we've had and uh, I feel like the second time I saw her um, we spoke about such deep things that I would never have felt comfortable talking about with some random person if I didn't feel a connection with like that with because I I yeah as much of an as much of an open book as I am um, it is hard for me to open up to people 
um, which is why I started this blog in the first place and this podcast was to do that more so and be able to speak about the things that no one, none of us like to talk about. But at the time, I didn't have the blog. And also, it's much different to write something than to say something out loud, um, especially to a person face to face. So I just knew right off the bat that we were going to be friends and that we were going to say in each other's lives, even if it wasn't necessarily someone I see every single day, because that's unrealistic anyway. We're, like, we're all adults and we all have our own lives and we all go through our own stuff. But when you don't see someone for a long time and then you do see them in person and the connection still feels the exact same, that's when you know it's a true bond um, and it's true friendship and it's a, a real person and it's a real, um, like you weren't imagining it basically and that you should continue staying, doing that as much as you can and opening that door up for each other and for anyone else out there as well. I feel like I'm going on a tangent, and I also feel like I'm sound. I sound like um, um, very monotone. You know, um, I don't know what else to do about that at this exact moment. This whole thing is about being real, and this is, I guess, how I feel. And I'm gonna talk right now, so hopefully, it's not boring you all. Um, the next blog post after that was uh, "Healing is Tiring." because let me tell you it is um as i mentioned in this blog post i've been doing healing circle for um a bit now since last fall and uh it has been so eye-opening um on so many levels but it's also been like a lot <laughs> obviously um because i've never talked this in depth about any of my issues or any of my traumas and anything like that I've never gone to therapy I've never done any of that um because of the way I grew up you know especially being born with a penis um you're told to not emotions basically aren't real and uh mental health isn't really a thing especially in my culture um so I never spoke about those things because I didn't, I was told they weren't important and that they didn't exist and that you just should be happy and fine and, you know, make sure that you're presenting something to the world that is acceptable, not necessarily something that you're going to be happy with, but that is acceptable um, in the culture that I was in, which I still to this day don't really know what that really means because I don't think there's anyone in the world that is 100% accepting of every single um, or a, a, I don't think there's a person in the world that can live up to those expectations no matter what and not be judged for little things that they do like little mis quote unquote mistakes that they make um, because even the people that in my mind were doing those things in that for the culture and 100% in my mind at least or whatever people still talk behind their backs and people still would you know say things about them that would put them down so I don't think there's really any point to try to live your life for someone else's happiness um so for me I have been doing the healing circle and have been trying to open up more and not just talk about surface level stuff because that's not beneficial to me or anyone around me um and because i want to be someone who shines their light and helps others shine theirs sometimes it's hard when i'm in these kinds of moods as i am right now because i feel like i don't want to do anything i just want to crawl in bed turn the lights off and not do anything and just lie down um, but it's crazy that that's my perception and today at work um, a customer came in and was like you're always so happy and positive and smiling like, how do you do that and I literally like almost burst into tears but I didn't and 
I was like, well, thank you. That's so sweet. I do my best. Um, I was like, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I just, I guess, do. And especially when I'm at work, I make sure that I'm making sure others are happy and leave with a smile. Um, that's, you know, I feel like it's part of my job. So um, I do that. And I was like, I, I was like, to be honest, I guess I've, because I've been connecting more and more to my spiritual side and talking more about things, that might be a factor into that. Um, and I recommended a couple mindfulness things that I've been listening to recently, like podcasts um, to go to sleep and um, to wake up, which I've been slacking with a little bit recently. So maybe that has something to do with my mood. I mean, I'm sure it's a bunch of things, but that could be a one of the factors in it because I was keeping up with it the first uh, a few weeks really well, and I kind of stopped that. And not on necessarily on purpose, but because of the way I'm feeling. So who knows? Um, anyway, so I was recommending that, and I was like, "It's crazy." After she left, I was talking to my one of my coworkers. I was like, "It's crazy to see what the outside perception is of you when you kind of hate yourself and want nothing to do, don't want to do anything, and everyone else still thinks that you are a positive light." Or whatever <laughs> and my coworker was like well yeah you're pretty great so you should try to remember that and that's just been I guess part of my whole trying to um, not fix but uh, put back together with it myself um, in terms of I don't give myself enough credit ever and I don't ever think that I'm doing anything right um, so yeah <laughs> I was just scrolling to the blog post and I was like don't get me wrong it sometimes sucks is one of the lines and it really really does um, so I just you know I'm trying to do my best to keep my head above the water and make sure that we're all um, thriving as much as we can but sometimes to be able to thrive you have to survive a little bit as well um, and that can be hard so please please don't you know try not to fully give in to the these feelings um, this is mainly what I'm saying it to myself more so than anything like I shouldn't push people away and I shouldn't just you know I guess in some uh, it become a her hermit or a recluse into my room and not hang out with anyone because that's not going to be helpful for me or for anyone else um, so yeah I'm going to do my best to make sure that I am taking care of myself and taking care the things that need to be done um, for my mental health and for the good of the people around me as well as myself. So I think that uh, that's, you know, good for that <laughs> blog post. Um, and then the last blog post is work through it. Um, this one was a shorter one and like shorter than normal and I feel like I said what I needed to say in the blog post um, but this was also kind of in my you know not great mood um, and I didn't want to get into that mood in the um, in this post um, I definitely will soon um, but uh, in this exact post I wasn't doing that um, or you know wasn't delving too deep into it in that exact moment and so when I wrote this I just felt like the short and concise um, but still getting the point across was fine um, and I think it worked out well for this uh, particular post um, and uh, and yeah I think I think this post kind of speaks for itself in terms of what a little bit of a insight into my brain and why how it 
it kind of works. It, it, I say this like a question because I'm still figuring it out, but this is how I like sometimes talk to myself um, as if I don't, you know, need all this or deserve all this as much as I want to be happy and healthy and be successful it's hard for me to grasp that concept because I guess I don't feel like I'm worthy enough or deserving enough of that um, and I'm just working on that and making sure that I remember who I am and how much of a positive change I guess I'm making um, even in little ways with people and as I'm sure you can tell by th even saying that was difficult for me because I feel like I'm praising myself or like good job Wally or whatever and it's not about that but it's also sometimes I should do that so that I notice that I'm doing the good that I'm doing and that I'm not just you know a waste as sometimes I think I am um yeah <laughs> I think that that's uh it for the blog posts but uh I just honestly don't know how else to explain how I'm feeling right now um other than as I mentioned before I don't want to do anything and everything is requiring much more work than normal for me personally and um, having a lot of trouble dealing with that I'm, I'm, I've definitely had these kind of feelings before um, sorry I'm wearing like sweatpants that are like made of that like you know almost parachutey material so I just moved and I made that noise anyway um, I don't have train of thought, but, uh, yeah, I just, I'm going to make sure that I do my best to stick through this and let people be around me and not push them away, but be honest with them about how I feel and that, uh, um, you know, hiding away isn't going to help the situation. It's going to make it worse. So I'm going to do my best to, to do that. Um, I just... Yeah, I want to thank everyone for um, listening and being here. And uh, hopefully this episode didn't put you to sleep because I feel like it's putting me to sleep with the way that I'm talking. Um, but uh, I don't want to not put out uh, an episode this week uh, because I feel like I've set the schedule for myself to kind of keep my brain in check. And if I didn't do this episode, that would make me feel way worse than... Um, you know, doing it and kind of being a little bit of uh, down or, you know, the normal. So anyway, um, thank you all so, so, so much for listening and tuning into this and continuing to read the pot, uh, the blog posts. It means so much. Um, I know a lot of you are silent supporters and that's a okay. Um, I, I appreciate the eyes. I appreciate even being knowing that someone's um, reading it um it means so much to me to have my art words be out there and to have it be looked at um and listened to with the podcast so thank you so much um thank you so much for finding me for hearing me out um i hope everyone out there stays gorgeous and uh smooches oh.